in school history, playing for a first ever regional championship, but they came up just short, falling in quadruple overtime to Trotwood Madison at Sydney. Tomorrow they meet again, except this time it'll be in Lima. Wapak, undefeated on the season, is thrilled to be playing that close to home against the 9-3 Rams. The WBL champs eked out a 12-6 victory last week. Now the two teams do have one common opponent. As Wapakana to beat Salina 35-14 in the regular season, while Trotwood topped the Bulldogs 44-14 two weeks ago in the opening round of the playoffs. Rams are led by sophomore running back Ravion Hargrove, who's rushed for close to 2,000 yards on the season, including 300 or more in three of the last four games. Even with their 12-0 record, Wapak feels as if they've been challenged all season long, including last week when they trailed in the fourth quarter, so they are ready for step three of goal one. Uh, we know they're going to uh, uh, have a great football team. Uh, they're extremely skilled. Uh, they're extremely athletic. They're fast. And, uh, you know, the one thing we've said throughout the whole course of this year, or process is, you know, as we continue to take each step, uh, each step uh, players are going to get faster and more athletic and, and teams are going to be better. And, and that's what we would expect. So uh, uh, they're a great football team. and We know we have a huge challenge this week. Uh, they're definitely athletic and they get up in our guys. and. Um... I know I got to make my reads quick because they can easily jump a pass or whatever a route, whatever it may be. So I know that I got to make my reads. Uh, they're very aggressive and they can hang with our guys. So we just got to be sharp with our routes and, and um, on time with our routes as well. So I think we're, I mean, we're truly blessed to be back there again. You know, we, last year we came up a little short, but I know this year we want it and uh, we, we just know that we have to be sound in everything that we do. We can't have any flaws and everything because when you get this far in the playoffs there's so many great teams that it's going to be hard to bounce back with some things.